Alrighty then, welcome to another video, The One Good Road here. Today I wanted to discuss on how to create a cycling route. Now I will make this into two videos. One will be a cycling route, which is like how to plan and make your own route. And the other one will be a bicycle touring route, which has a lot more bells and whistles that I'm going to talk about. Um, but yeah, let's waste no time, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing, obviously, that most people will be using is Google Maps. It's quick, it's easy. For example, let's say I want to go from Nelson to Nelson. I'm spelling Nelson completely wrong. Um, and let's say I want to go to Greymouth. This is all, I'm going to base all of my stuff uh, in New Zealand just for simplicity because I'm simplistic state because I'm in New Zealand. Now, it gives me an idea on how far the route is going to be. I could just follow the suggested route via Google Maps, but you've kind of clicked on this video, I suppose, to actually figure out how to plan and make your own one. So, um, one of the things is that you can drag it out and then, oh, look, there's another little road here. How surprising. And I didn't get to see that. I mean, even if you zoom in really, really far, it just doesn't show until now, which is really, really hard to find. Now, I like it if, um, personally, I, I like riding on smaller roads or gravel roads or smaller, quieter roads, which just have a lot less traffic on them. And um, they're still pretty reasonably direct, but they just might be more hilly or something. Um, yeah, anything which can avoid the hot major highways if possible. Um, and, you know, the, the downside with Google Maps is you can't find these small roads. So what do you do? Well, that's when OpenStreetMap comes in. OpenStreetMap is just, uh, I, I'm not entirely sure on the full story of it, but I believe it's just hosted by kind of an open source way to host maps. And then everyone else can suggest their own suggestions like, oh, this road doesn't exist, and oh, it's yada, yada, yada. And it allows you to, for, for web dev uh, or app uh, developers to create apps uh, so that they can... Um, use their open street maps a bit like how google maps allow it on certain ways but this this version you can fully integrate it into your application so what i would recommend is that i'll put a uh, a video over the screen right now and it'll show you uh, an overlay of uh, me using open street maps open street maps is is a really cool application i would definitely recommend recommend you download it uh, read through it um, now, it says Android only. That's not entirely true. I mean, there's a button right there which says App Store as well. Um, yeah, so we can download. I mean, it says open source. It's got great bicycle suggestions on routes. You can download and put the GPX files. GPX files, I'll show you how to create one of those in a minute. Um, uh, the map viewing, you can download all the maps all over the entire world from Russia to the United States to Australia. It just... It, everything. It's really, really awesome. Um, and then the iOS, for iOS version looks like this. So there's a lot more customizability and you can see a lot more of the routes. It's just, it's like Google Maps with, with way more bells and whistles, which is really handy for touring. But anyway, in general, it's great for cycling. So Google Maps is great, but like, you know, whatever. So here's a great part on how to plan your own route. So what we want to do is we want to uh, load up uh, ridewithgps.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and what we're going to do is on the menu on the top here, we're going to click plan. Now, let's say, like I said, I wanted to go from Nelson to uh, Greymouth on the west coast of, of New Zealand. Um, so we've got Nelson, I'll type in New Zealand. Uh, I keep spelling everything wrong these days. There we go. Jo um, yes. Done. So we zoom out. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to click Greymouth over here, which is somewhere there, for rough sake. Done. Now it's going to plan out the route quite simply as Google Maps would. Um, because this is still essentially Google Maps overlaid and what there's the most amazing feature about this ride with GPS um, is A, we're creating our own GPX file. GPX files can be uh, loaded straight onto your Garmin or they can be loaded onto the phone with OpenStreetMaps. So now with the different layers that we can inc include in, in, or incorporate over this, so for example, right now we're using Google Maps, we top, 
uh, the, the button in the right hand corner of the map, we can change that to like OpenStreetMap Cycle, for example. I click that, and it's going to change the entire map to suggested routes for cycling. So these routes actually going through the Rainbow Road here and the Kaikoura's along here are really, really good. I highly recommend them. Um, but anyway, what we're looking at is uh, how to plan and, and, and edit and create our own routes. So now we can zoom in a lot more and get a lot more detail on where those smaller roads are. So this is Tapawira here. Um, and now, there we go, the roads are starting to appear now. And we get a lot more of the little tiny roads which just don't show up on Google Maps anymore, right? So it's super handy, and now if we zoom out a little bit further again, this is a blue suggested route. So what I can do, instead of taking the main road, I can just select that over there, and voila, I'm now not following the main road anymore. And then another suggestion is that, let's say you're, you're getting a lot of uh, customization on, on the map, but let's say we want to go back to the simplest version, which is just Google Maps. And then I say, oh, there's another road going up along here. So then I change it to that. Done. Now, one of the things is that um, I'll get into bike touring. I should, I should just save the comment for the bike touring video instead. But um, you can, for example, you see these markers, 25, 50. Um, these are the markers for... Um, how far it is to the, it's each kilometer basically. I shouldn't have done that, let me click undo. I just accidentally clicked it to come all the way back to Nelson. Um, anyway, and then you can find out other cycling routes and like, for example, I can click bike paths on here and now it's going to come up with a load of green lines which is all the suggested routes on Google Maps. Um, so yeah, that's, that's actually it, that's, that's the entire video to be honest. That's how you're gonna plan out and create your own routes. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna click save. Once we click save, uh, we're gonna type in our own name. So we can type in uh, Nelson to Greymouth. Um, then we're gonna click uh, private. I wanna keep it private. And you can, you can actually keep this public and post it on Facebook if you want to. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, um, this is, by the way, record this as a trip, like if I've already done it. No, I haven't done the route yet, so I click no. Um, and it gets saved in different categories of, of your ride with GPS. So now it's saving the route, and it's making it um, done. Let's view the route, let's have a look. Now we can go to the export page, um, which is on the right side over here. We've also got a cue sheet, which will tell you all the, the directions on your phone and whatnot, blah, 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 that's all automatic. Um, and then a GPX file will be created. So we can now download it. There it is, done. It's really cool, I highly recommend it. And that is how you create your own custom route, basically. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Definitely subscribe, and uh, that's, that's it, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, ciao.